We gather today on the banks of the Credit River to launch our biggest fundraising campaign to date to help us realize our ultimate vision of a 100 kilometer pathway through the Credit River Valley from the hills of the headwaters in Orangeville through Caledon, Halton Hills, Brampton and Mississauga to Lake Ontario and Port Credit. We're also here to celebrate a major milestone. The wayfinding signs we're unveiling today mark the first time the name Credit Valley Trail will grace the land. These signs of progress showcase our vibrant trail logo and brand and will guide us both literally and figuratively as we take these important steps along the path. I've had the opportunity uh, and honoured to be part of the group to bring the Indigenous voice to the table and work with a team of uh, First Nations, Métis, uh, to uh, give input on what that might look like. We have been on a campaign for a long time, many, many years, to be recognised and to be respected for who we are in this land. The country has really done the people an injustice by not letting people know about who's, who lived on the land before they got here and that we still exist. I've been working on this for almost 10 years. It's, it's called the Moccasin Identifier, in which case it is an education and awareness program for the school system. You never get Carolyn King without getting <laughs> the Moccasin Identifier. And we launched yesterday we launched the uh, website uh, with curriculum that the teachers can go online and pull for free. If they're looking to teach something in the school about treaties and the Indigenous people, we're helping deliver with this program. I say it takes a lot of people to change the world. Credit Valley is part of that group of people who are helping change the world. Uh, thank you, Carolyn. Congratulations on the Moccasin Project. It's very exciting and uh, I too look forward to seeing them all throughout the trail. First, I want to recognize the Credit Valley Trail's founding donors, the Government of Ontario, through the Ministry of Heritage, Sport, Tourism and Culture Industries, 407 ETR, the Greenbelt Foundation, and the many donors who made contributions of all sizes to the project through the Credit Valley Conservation Foundation. We're beyond grateful for your support of our shared vision. Simply being here, watching the water flow, hearing the rustling of leaves in the trees, and maybe catching a glimpse of the abundant wildlife, especially the herons that are my personal favorites. It transforms my state of mind and offers a rare moment of quietude. But for many of us, the Credit River is so much more. It's a point of pride. It's worthy of being protected. And we believe it's worthy of being appreciated through the Credit Valley Trail. And I'm proud to say that we've connected 32 kilometers of trail so far, and we have 68 kilometers to go. That's why Credit Valley Conservation Foundation is launching its largest fundraising campaign to date. We hope to inspire generous individuals and organizations alike to help us raise a total of $10 million to connect the rest of the Credit Valley Trail. Our vision is bold and our sights are set high, but we can't do this alone. So I ask you to join us to put nature at the very heart of our communities. Generous donations of all sizes will help fund important aspects of the trail. With so many of our region's wild natural spaces located in Caledon, I see firsthand the tremendous growth and demand for outdoor recreation and access to green space. Over the past 10 years alone, Credit Valley Conservation has seen a 260% increase in visitation to its parks. As our communities continue to grow and thrive, investing in outdoor recreation is more important now than ever. We're not just building a trail. We're building a legacy that will knit together the communities of Mississauga, Brampton, Halton Hills, Caledon, and Orangeville and it will empower Indigenous peoples to share their stories, values, and knowledge, recognizing their enduring presence in the land. I believe that building a greater sense of place in our region is one of the most important things that we can do. When people feel connected to the land they call home, and that's truly connected, not just I own this little piece of property, but outside their property boundaries, then they intrinsically value the land and its ongoing protection. They want to learn about its history, and they want to help guide its future. We know that connecting people with nature fosters a deep appreciation uh, for the environment and builds that sense of pride and stewardship across the generations. Uh, at the Greenbelt Foundation, with the support of the province of Ontario, we seek to invest in efforts uh, to protect and enhance the Greenbelt. We've seen the impacts of COVID and it's really shone a, a light on the importance of outdoor recreation and our connection to nature. And it's especially true 
in areas uh, that surround Canada's largest population centres. Our region is estimated to reach 13.5 million residents by 2041. So the demand for public access to high quality green space is really only going to grow. So done right, we can have protected natural areas, we can improve our resiliency in the face of climate change, and we can provide access to green spaces and critical recreational opportunities. So in that context, I think all of us would agree that the vision of a connected 100 kilometer Credit Valley Trail has never been more important. The trail looks phenomenal, the signage looks great on the way in, and uh, like Edward mentioned, we really look forward to seeing what comes next.